wanted to run again for city council. Yeah, uh, I came here in 1975 with the Air Force and spent a 30 year career with the Air Force, retired, then spent time with District 11 for five years on their board. And then four years ago, I ran for city council and the board of directors for utilities, and I was fortunate enough to get elected. Uh, now I'm running, uh, you know, for re-election. You can have two terms. I think the public knows you can have two terms of four years. There are just some things that I feel uh, I've kind of teed up to make better. Public safety uh, is one that I think we've had some issues with in terms of traffic uh, fatalities. And, and in the criminal area, we've had more crime than I want. So I'm very much in favor of you know, supporting both the fire department with a, a hazard material team, which they currently don't have. And we need about 120 more police officers so that we can all, I think, be more secure and get faster response when we have an emergency. So if you were to be reelected, what would you continue to do or do differently? You know, three, uh, four years ago, I was very interested in our relationship with the mayor and the executive branch uh, that had become more uh, partnering, more collaborative. I think you need to tend that and, and I want to continue that. I think we are going to need more help with our roads and our potholes, you know, throughout our city. We kind of did the arterial roads. Now we need to do the neighborhood roads. And then jobs for people that are graduating from Pikes Peak Community College or UCCS or, you know, even Palmer High School. I want to keep young people here in the city uh, with salaries and wages that they can, they can live with. You know? What do you believe have been your biggest accomplishments so far during your term? I got involved right at the beginning with uh, what I renamed the Pedestrian Access Act. I sponsored that so that people couldn't lie or sleep in the downtown area of Colorado Springs and old Colorado City. Uh, we're not insensitive to people without roots over their heads, but that was one thing I sponsored. Uh, recently, it was uh, uh, the camping uh, near the riparian area, no camping within 100 feet of the riparian area, and I sponsored that. I've been very involved, I think, with uh, ensuring that all of our city employees, whether they police or fire, uh, are paid adequately so that we can keep the good people here. And so I want to make sure that our pay and benefits stays at the highest level that people can afford, you know, without raising taxes. So just to recap, which issues beyond public safety and affordability would be top of mind for you? I think we, we need to wrap our arms around what we're going to do with our homeless population. Uh, that's a top issue for me, uh, and I think we need to take care of people that want the help, uh, families first, and then people that are looking for jobs or looking for help with either substance abuse or uh, help with m maybe a, a behavioral problem that they have. Uh, as a 30-year veteran, I want to help veterans uh, that are in our community and need support as a transition from you know, whether it's Fort Carson or Schriever or, or uh, Peterson or Cheyenne Mountain. So I want to work with the military community so that they can uh, gravitate in, into civilian jobs and, and have successful lives. And with the issue of homelessness, how would you approach it given the experience you have? How would you continue to approach it? We've, uh, the mayor has come up uh, with uh, Andrew Phelps. He's the kind of the, the main guy that's dealing with the homeless problem for the city with a six point plan. You know, I'm very much in favor of that. I think we need to come up with more funding, uh, and the funding uh, can't just be for shelters, whether they're at Springs Rescue Mission or at the uh, Salvation Army. Uh, I think we've got to go beyond that and provide services uh, once we get people off the street and, and out of camping areas. That's going to take funding, and it's going to take, a, I think, a partnership with the private sector, uh, the nonprofits uh, that might be faith based profits. Uh, and uh, I think we need to ensure that if they need assistance, that we have social workers and other staff that can help people uh, with the hot team, which you know is the homeless outreach team that the police department has. I want to double that team. I think there are five to six. We probably need 10 to 12 uh, that are going to be working with the homeless population. So I, th I think that's critical. How has your platform changed from the first time you ran, if at all, and can you state that current platform in a couple sentences? Yeah, it, it's changed from, again, the collaboration. I think our relationship with the mayor is working terrific. Uh, and, I, and we've got uh, two seed passed, so we're dealing with the roads. And I think our jobs with, you know, all these accolades that we're getting is the city that uh, millennials want to come to, that veterans want to come to. And now I'm more focused on public safety issues. 
I want our streets safer, and I want our people to feel more comfortable walking or biking or whatever they're doing in the community.